Welcome to Disc Benders. Would you like a tutorial? Great. The name of the game is Disc Golf. It plays like traditional golf, but instead of hitting the ball with clubs, you throw flying discs. The goal of the game is to throw the disc into the basket. Which hand will you be using to throw? The first step is holding the disc. Try grabbing the disc with the backhand grip. You can hold just the grip button for an open grip, or clamp your entire hand over the controller for a closed grip, providing additional stability. It's really up to your preferences. By holding the disc, giving it some direction, and letting go, you can throw the disc. Try it now. Good. There are many factors that go into throwing a disc well. Try giving it some different angles and power. Click continue when you're ready to move on. You can also call back the disc with the controls shown. Each time you play a different basket, also known as a hole, you will have some obstacles blocking your path, as well as an out of bounds area. If you throw your disc out of bounds, it will count as two throws, penalizing your score for the hole as a result. Every hole will have a par number, or the score to be. Your score for the hole will be the difference between the number of throws you made and the hole's par. For example, if you play a par 3 hole and it only takes you 2 throws, your score is a negative 1, which is good. Lower is better in this case. Each hole will have a map, showing its main path as well as its out of bounds area. Different situations call for different tools, and you've got a bag of them. Open your disc bag. Each disc flies a bit differently than the others. The driver will go very far, but it's hard to control. Try giving it a throw now. The putter throws much shorter, but will fly straight with high accuracy. Give it a spin. You'll learn these differences as you become more experienced with throwing these discs in each situation. To help you keep track of your score and throws, you've also got a handy smartwatch. Check out your wrist. The main screen will point to the basket location and show your current score for the hole. If you tap the watch with your opposite hand, it will flip to the secondary screen. This screen tells you different stats about your most recent throw. The speed icon shows the throw's release speed. The spin icon measures the disc's spin rate, and the distance icon displays the distance thrown. Try tossing some discs and see how you measure up. You'll need to move around a lot as you play, and there are several ways to do this. You can move your body about the space with a movement joystick. If you want to move far and fast, you can always teleport. Hold down the teleportation joystick to activate this ability. By aiming this reticle around, you can point to the location you want to teleport. Rotating the joystick changes the direction you'll face after teleporting. Once you're ready to teleport, let go of the teleportation joystick. Walking around your play space to move your body is also valid. Just be careful about your boundaries. Moving and throwing and disc benders can be dangerous if you're not careful. Okay, that's enough of the basics for now. Would you like to try playing a practice hole?
job. Hope you're getting the feel of things. There are more advanced tutorials if you'd like to learn more. Otherwise, you can continue exploring the driving range or try a round of disc golf on the main course. You can access these through the in-game menu as well as many other options. Try opening your menu now 